Kane, after declaring that he wants to become an adventurer, his father is very supportive. Starting today, Kane has a mentor who specifically helps him learn, a mentor brought by his father. In his room, he imagines what his mentor will be like, muscular or a wizard perhaps? He looks very excited. After waiting, it turns out that his tutor is two beautiful women named Millie and Nina. With great nervousness, Millie introduces herself and Nina, who is actually an elf, to Kane and his father. Millie introduces herself as an adventurer with a rank of D. Kane's father officially hands Kane over to them, and they will teach Kane for three years. The first training begins with sword training. Kane looks very skilled in using his wooden sword, and Nina says that Kane might be much stronger than Millie. Millie doesn't want to be left behind, and seeing Kane do it so well, she challenges him to a sparring match. As she swings her sword at him, Millie is very impressed and doubts that Kane is really only five years old. After Nina asks, Kane admits that he was indeed blessed by the god of war when he was baptized. After exhausting herself handling Kane's attacks, Millie gives up and now hands Kane over to Nina to learn magic. Nina is an elf who has been blessed by the god of magic, level 3, which is of course far from Kane, who has also been blessed by the god of magic, level 10. Initially, Nina wanted to teach Kane magic from scratch, but it turned out that Kane said he had already learned and practiced what was in the book he had studied. After that, Kane shows Nina, water ball, fireball, and rock bullet magic. He does it all very easily, which according to Nina, will require very hard training to be able to do. Nina calls Kane a genius kid. However, Nina still can't believe it because Kane uses all magic attributes, from water, fire, and earth. Nina suspects that Kane was also blessed by the god of magic, which turns out to be true. Then Millie whispers to Nina that there is nothing more they can teach Kane because he has mastered everything. While Millie is whispering, Kane offers a towel, and they are very surprised to see that Kane also has an item box. They both decided to give up and could not teach Kane anything more. But Kane asked them to teach him outside the mansion. Since birth, Kane had never left the mansion except for when he was baptized. Therefore, he wanted Millie and Nina to take him out and help him learn magic. Finally, they decided to ask Kane's father for permission for him to study outside. Millie and Nina said that Kane was no longer at the beginner level, and if he learned intermediate level magic inside the mansion, it could risk exploding the mansion. His father agreed to let Kane study outside, but he had to return before evening and not exceed the limit. Outside the mansion, there was a vast expanse of grassland and mountains, which was, of course, very suitable for him to learn magic. Nina ordered Kane to use intermediate magic to attack a large rock in front of him. Without hesitation, Kane did it, firewall. And the rock disappeared, leaving a deep hole around the area, like a falling meteor. Nina said that Kane's magic level had surpassed the intermediate level. Suddenly, Millie and Nina felt something dangerous, yes, a killer rabbit was attacking them. Kane managed to immobilize the monster, and it was his first capture. Kane then used his item box to bring the monster back to the mansion and show it to his mother and sister. Millie said that she had enough money and wanted to buy a magic bag, a magic item that functioned the same as the item box, although it was quite expensive. They continued the hunt, using their magic. Nina detected that there were still several killer rabbits lurking around them. Kane was very interested in the magic and curious to try it too. He was able to do it with one try, and amazingly, he could know the position and number of monsters around him. Immediately, Kane chased after the monsters and managed to immobilize one killer rabbit, while Millie and Nina immobilized two others. One rabbit tried to flee into the forest, but Millie and Nina stopped Kane, saying that it was very dangerous inside the forest because there were very powerful monsters that would come out and attack the city in a few decades. That's why there were large and high walls around the city. When Kane returned to his room, he checked his status and was surprised to see that his level had already increased to level 8 just by killing a few small monsters. It turned out that this was due to the 100 times rate of increase he received from the gods. However, Kane was worried that if others found out about his status, it would endanger the castle and he could even be executed for it. The next day, Millie and Nina invited Kane to visit a guild to obtain information about monsters. 
Kane was excited about this opportunity. When they arrived at the guild, they encountered a muscular man named Cross, who was an adventurer rank C. He insulted Millie and Nina, assuming that they were finally employed to take care of a baby. Cross invited Millie and Nina for a drink, but they refused. He became angry and forced them to accompany him. Kane intervened to protect Millie and Nina from Cross's harassment. Despite being urged to flee, Kane insisted on staying and hit Cross's hand, causing him to recoil in pain. Cross retaliated and attempted to attack Kane repeatedly, but Kane managed to defeat him. Two of Cross's friends who were present were kicked out of the guild. Three years passed and Kane was now eight years old. Millie and Nina refused to renew their contract to teach Kane. Grateful for their kindness over the past three years, Kane remembered that Millie had expressed a desire for a magic bag. He decided to give them the bag but needed to collect the necessary materials first. He went to the forest and defeated several monsters to collect the materials. Using his magic, he was able to defeat even the strongest looking monsters. From the watchtower, a guard saw a large flame from within the forest, assuming it was a monster invasion. The alarm was sounded, and cavalry was dispatched to confront the threat. As they approached the forest, they discovered a large hole in the ground. One of the guards was certain that there were no monsters around the city since he had previously patrolled the area. Kane was not there anymore, but he left a handkerchief that was found by his father at the bottom of the hole. On the last day that Millie and Nina were teaching Kane, Kane gave them a magic bag as a gift that he had made himself. When they received it, they asked about the material of the magic bag, and when Kane tried to explain that he got it from very strong monsters, they were both very surprised. It was because those monsters could only be defeated by a party of Class A, while Kane, an eight-year-old boy, could defeat them alone. Kane also said that he had made the capacity of the magic bag himself, and that it was only enough to store his mansion. Once again, Millie was very surprised to hear this, because the magic bag she wanted to buy would only fit items equivalent to a carriage load. With this, Kane's handmade magic bag became a national treasure class, he went overboard. Nina was worried that if she carried the national treasure class bag, she would become a target for many people. Nevertheless, Millie and Nina were very happy to receive the gift from Kane, they thanked him and they kissed Kane as a farewell greeting, of course it made Kane feel very nervous. They parted ways, and they promised to help each other if needed. At the end of the episode, Kane's father scolded him because he knew that the monster invasion he thought it was, turned out to be Kane's doing. He reminded Kane that he had to be careful and not exceed his limits. Because, of course, it would be very dangerous if other people knew about his power.